I honour the indigenous people of this land who regarded themselves as custodians and whose land was effectively stolen. Sovereignty has never been ceded. Welcome to my home in Mullaney in the Sunshine Coast hinterland. The house is on a steep block with an average 20% slope down to the north. It is designed for easy access at street level. The front entrance is on the south side. It has double glazed double doors opening onto a wide corridor that goes through to the rear. Most of the house is compact, but I wanted the entrance to feel generous. First impressions can't. When the doors are open, this corridor acts as a breezeway, which has proved a useful feature on a hot day. I selected my block for its great northern aspect at the back of the house. The slope allowed me to double my northern exposure by having this half of the house double storey. All of the living spaces are on the north side. The lower floor can be self-contained, which provides great flexibility. Interestingly, the steepness made this block cheaper than others, but the cost of the building was more. It amazes me how northern aspects are undervalued. You probably won't be surprised to hear I minimised windows on the western side. However, I had a lucky break here, with the neighbouring house blocking out summer sun to my laundry window. I'm so glad I did include it, because it allows good cross-ventilation through to the kitchen. On the eastern side, the two bedrooms have casement windows for catching summer breezes at night. The National Construction Code shows Mullaney as subtropical, so you should design only for mild winters, but it's important not to rely on generalised data. Our climate is actually more like Toowoomba's warm temperate. The zone is, quote, characterised by cool winters and warm summers. The design's main aim is to keep the home warm in winter. Mullaney has a good number of frosts. The important thing here is to have winter warmth and keep mould at bay. Catching summer breezes is also a good aim. The eave length is critical to managing temperature. The overhang analysis tool on susdesign.com is great for optimising your decisions. I looked closely at the northern sun penetration to maximise it in winter, but completely exclude it in midsummer. Therefore, my eaves are slightly wider than standard. Also, you can see a broader eave over the large eastern-facing bifolds, which reduces summer sun penetration. From the inside, you get to see my major digression from normal building practices. This is my main living area on the northeast corner of the house. It is normally flooded by sun on winter mornings and is a joy to get up to. When you open it up, it feels fairly much like you're sitting on a big deck. The reason for this design is to maximise the winter sun into the house, so I didn't want to add covered deck. It saved me the cost of a deck, which is counted by the cost of the bifolds, a good deal in my opinion. The builders argued against this design, saying it would affect resale value, but I built this house to live in, not to sell. I was amazed at the daylight showing around the external doors of my new home. I highly recommend the Draft Dodger product sold by EcoMaster. This product seals against the surface of the closing door, rather than trying to fill the gap in the frame. This picture is actually of the door into my garage. I've also used it on the door to the lower storey, where it decreases sound transmission, as well as seeming against cooking smells. When it comes to mould prevention, there were three things I did. Firstly, after reading the condensation section of the Your Home website, I used a vapour permeable house wrap. This is very unusual in this area, though it is now mandated for some climate zones. As you can see from this chart, it allows water vapour to pass through the walls with much less chance of moisture condensing compared to the usual bright coloured breathable wrap. Secondly, I used a paint with mould inhibitor throughout. Finally, I have my hot water storage tank in the house. This adds a small amount of heat to the ambient temperature. If the humidity becomes extremely high, I'll also plug in an electric throw rug in my walk-in wardrobe, like the age-old idea of using a light bulb to raise the temperature slightly. Once I was living in the house, I added my personal touch. There's no point in building if you can't add your own quirks. 
Overall, I'm very happy with my home and it's always nice when visitors admire my mosaics and are surprised by how warm it is on a winter's day.